me, me, Peter, and we're from... Ex Start with the new record. What can you tell us about Objection Overruled? Well, it's the first record we've done after a long time, and um, we're all very excited about it. You know, we did it last year in Germany. We've produced it ourselves, and it's got 10 typical <coughs> accept songs in there. You know, it's nothing revolutionary new for us, but it's right in the tradition of accept, and we all like it very much. Yeah, I agree with Wood. I agree too. We all agree. Already told me that, but you know about uh, the way you recorded it, you know. Well, it was different. For all the years when we recorded records, we always wanted to do it like playing live in the studio, the band, not doing it like drums first and bass. So this time we, we knew what we were going to do. We took the freedom and uh, uh, composed the songs and then rehearsed it like we were going to uh, we'll go on a tour. And then we went in the recording studio and just played it live, like the basic tracks, live like we do it on stage. Mm -hmm. That was very good and it came across better yeah, than it used to do. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the difference between this record and the last you know, active record? Um, well, the last record after that we split up and uh, we came to a point in our career where we felt we hadn't uh, tried everything, you know. We had stayed together for many years and we had uh, done a lot of records together <coughs> and we thought it was time to uh, try out some new things and uh, we knew we wouldn't, we couldn't wanna, uh, do it with Udo and Udo knew that he wouldn't want to be part of that. So uh, it was time to go, to go different ways. And, um, you know, after we have tried all those things, we've all worked with different musicians, we've all uh, learned a lot of experiences, some good ones, a lot of bad ones, and now we know what we had and accept, and that's why we did this album in a straightforward way. We all knew how it uh, should come out, and we all knew how it should sound, and so it was a... What have you done in this six or seven years? You didn't play with them. Well, we all did different things. I joined an American band, Don Dokken, uh, Wolf. Did. I did uh, some photography in between. I've done some album covers. I've done lots of things in photography. Basically, <clears throat> I was not in music. I was no active musician. And I worked with some other bands. We've got a little recording studio in Germany where I produced some bands and did all kinds of things. I enjoyed it very much, in fact. So now I have my own band, UDO, for five years nearly. So we did four albums. So I was still in the music business. And Stefan became a producer in between. He did a Japanese band called Outrage, and he produced Udo's records. So everybody was very busy. And he produced the live album, you know. Yes. Yeah. That is a big factor why we got together again, because this live album was recorded live in Japan in the old days, in 85 or something. And he, uh, in between, you know, mixed it down. So he was a producer for that. And uh, people liked it so much that they started writing letter after letter and they called our office and everybody requested another accept album mm -hmm. you know and this was probably the first step, step to the reunion you, you you have played around the world um, do you see the difference between audiences around the world or just go play and go away um, well i think there's a uh, general similarity in all the audience in the world because they're basically all rock fans and they're kids who want to get entertained and they react to certain things in a similar way it's no fundamental difference but of course you can feel you know japan japanese audience is uh, of course uh, special and you know the southern audiences usually are a little more enthusiastic about things they're a little they go crazy you know what i mean where people in sweden they go crazy too but it's a little different yeah but basically fundamental differences are not really there they all go react to the same principles mm -hmm. Um, what can you tell us about the music scene in, in Germany? Well, there's a lot of new bands coming out, you know, it was the Scorpions, the first band actually broke internationally, so we were the second, and now there is a lot of bands. I think Udo knows, well, he knows them all. <laughs> Expert on <laughs> Germany. Uh, always, yeah, but uh, well, I think we, get, we have a lot of uh, uh, interesting bands in Germany, but still uh, for the band there's a problem to become international. I don't know why, but um, I think... Um, it takes a long time, you know, to build up your own character as a band, you know, to get identity <laughs> and uh, so a lot of bands, they are not that long together, you know, maybe they are together for two or three years and then they, bro they broke up, you know, and then that's, I think that's a problem in Germany. The other bands? No, never. <laughs> we never did, we never will. <laughs>
Now, we don't really have that much time, to be quite honest. You know, when we're traveling and touring, uh, in Germany, we, we went to see our uh, support band for Germany, Skew Siskin, and what else did we see? Uh, that wasn't about it. We went to see Iron Maiden the in the last year. To be honest, there isn't really that many... Uh, the, the, the touring pattern changed in Germany. In the old, you know, maybe 10 years ago or five years ago, there was a regular concert every year from, you know, say the big bands. But that has changed now. We have more small independent concerts and clubs and things like that. And, uh, well, we don't really go that often. You know, whenever we have a chance and something interesting is coming up, we go. But, you know, the situation has changed a bit little. Are you open regarding, you know, music styles or you just listen to one particular, you know, heavy metal? I think we're definitely open. We listen to all kinds of stuff. I mean, what we do is because we like to play heavy metal when we, when we go in the studio or on stage. But, you know, that besides that, we listen to all kinds of stuff. Yes, we do. I listen to classical music as well as, you know, anything really. I like um, Tom Petty, for instance. It's got nothing to do with except, but I still love it. And, you know, we've always, I, when I grew up, I listened to, of course, the traditional heavy rock bands like uh, Sweet Slate, Alice Cooper, Deep Purple, um, uh, yeah. Judas Priest, all that. But at the same time, I listened to, you know, Jess Tull and Steely Dan, Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, Genesis, all, all weird shit. And, you know, I think it's interesting if you narrow yourself to a certain... And new bands? Nowadays? Yes. Oh, you know, all the Ellis and Chains, Stone Temple Pilots. I listen to all that kind of stuff, too. And whatever is in the radio, you know. Some... Sepultura, yeah. to go one. Yeah, we like it very much, yeah. What have you been doing before coming here? Um, we did a, a promotional tour in May. We did 16 countries in 22 days in Europe. Um, then we took a little break. We went to Japan. We flew right from Japan to do Foundations Forum where we played with Kiss, you know. It was very Los Angeles. Very successful for us. Now we're doing our big South American tour. <laughs> <laughs> After that we go to Germany. We do a, a major headline tour and then go right back to America and headline there for five weeks. Tell us about this show you played at the Foundation Forum. Was it like a festival? Yes, it was. Um, every band had like 45, 50 minutes or something and uh, there was a lot of media people there and it's basically like a fair, you know. Um, it was a little unusual situation because it was not a, a typical rock crowd there. It was all the, you know, journalists and people from record companies. So even more it was <coughs> a great uh, relief and surprise to us that they all started singing along and responded to what we do on stage because that's what we do a lot. You know, we have a lot of... Um, spots in the stage show where we want the audience to sing along and we want you know them to you know respond to what we do on stage and they did that so we had a great response there and i think we've been out of all the bands who played there we had the best response we've really been the winner of the uh, weekend there really that was the first time you were presenting songs of this yes new yes watching much music stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>